Okay, so, so, Kristen dancing? Yes, Kristen, you can dance. Nobody has to be called a hypocrite, okay? And you're going to be so liberated and set free from this book. What made Kristen so hypocritical? That was published by TVN Publishing Company called Trilogy. And the people viewed the book right at five stars. That lets me know that there's some profound wisdom in this book right here that's going to deliver you and set you free. And you're going to realize that it's okay to be you and to be real. Because hypocrites, you know, saying one thing and doing another. But that's not going to be your case nor mine. Let's see what the scripture has to say about that. But before that, let me just pray the Lord wisdom upon your life and the revelation knowledge that you will receive it, that God will awaken your spirit to the truth. And we all agree and say, amen. Okay, in the process of what God is doing right now is that we're traveling from city, city, state to state, you know, you know trying to find out, you know, why is it that, you know, Christianity, is declining like that. So God graced me and say, tour and go hear what the people has to say. So therefore from there, you're gonna see that you know, we've been in New Orleans, uh, Mississippi, Tennessee, Alabama, Florida, Homa, uh, Louisiana. But let me tell you the blessed thing about this. Everybody was saying the same thing. Hold tight because of the fact I want you to hear for yourself you know, what the people are saying. Just hold tight, hold tight. Because everybody was saying, uh, I don't know, I don't want to go to church and I don't want to become a Christian because of the fact Christians are so hypocritical. And I'm like, and, and, and how, in what way? Because of the fact they're so judgmental, they're always rejecting people, and they're so critical of criticizing people. I'm like, what? But what amazed me is this. How is it that Every person literally saying the same thing at in different places and countries and all these. Oh, you see what I'm saying? All right, let's go right into it. One one of the things that make Christians so hypocritical is that you got to understand that you cannot be all spiritual in a natural world. We're gonna break this thing down in just a few minutes. We're gonna go right into it to see uh, the videos of what the people are saying. But you got to understand that. You know, God God created the spirit. Now watch this now. See, your spirit was designed, created, also made, simply to relate to the Father. Man, I could, I could, over there. Listen, see your spirit was made, created, designed, simply to relate to Jehovah. Your spirit was not created or designed to relate to human. That's why Jesus always went away and prayed to the Father. Spirit to spirit, you know, man is what? Spirit, soul, and body, all right? So by knowing that wisdom, okay now, if the spirit was created and designed and, and made to relate to Jehovah, then what is my soul? All right, now let's go there. See, the soul was designed, created, simply, also made, simply to relate to the natural. Now watch this now. If I try to come to you and say, Spirit, talking like, Spirit, talking to you spiritual? <laughs> On that spiritual level, talking to you spiritual? Either That's what they're going to say. Yeah, I better go get that crazy person. Who, I, uh, 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 right? Mm -mm, right? That's right. That, that, that's that's when you become unbalanced, and that's when you become uh, unaffected. You know, in trying to do the work of the Lord, you have to learn to balance yourself between the two worlds. You have a natural world and a spiritual world. Well, let's go back again to the soul. God gave us a soul. Mm -hmm. He created the soul. He gave us the soul. He made it. Thank you, Holy Spirit, and designed that soul simply to relate to human. That's why we have human conversation, or should I say, to relate to the things of the earth, to relate to the things that's natural. 
that's how you and I are able to talk to one another, you know, on a natural level. Like, hey, how are you doing? You know, God, God bless you. you know, normal. That's how Jesus, you know, related to, uh, to the disciples. You know, which, you know, later on they became apostles because of the fact he related to them on a daily basis through the realm of the soul. Now, you got to understand this. Not only not does the soul relate to things, you know, of the earth or things that's natural. You got to understand the soul is the will of man, is the logic, is the reason of man. How about it's the seat of your personality? How about that? And watch this. The Bible says that the soul is being saved. Nobody's personality is saying, baby, you can hug me right now. You can slap me the next second. Why? Because soul is being saved. Now, I know you didn't hear it like this before, right? We have a perfect God living in uh, inside of an imperfect being. But how does that happen? Well, when your spirit born again, renewed, regenerated, then it becomes what you call born again. <laughs> Brand new spirit. But guess what? That mind, that soul, no, 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 no. That has to constantly be renewed and worked on every day. Now, I want you to understand this. God never fellowship, never communicate, never do he sit down and talk to no human soul. Only way that God affiliate or communicate or fellowship or again communicate, I'm going to say it again, bold and loud, he only talks to your soul. That's why Paul teaches, you know, you are to renew your own mind. Your own, the soul has to constantly be renewed because the Bible says that it's being saved. Nothing is saved, baby. But when it comes to your, think about it. The seed of your personality. Come on. You could be so sweet and kind. And then the next thing you know, you could be just so horrid. And, and you'd be like, what happened? What happened? What? No man's soul is saved. You know, the imperfections. Watch this now. The perfection is Christ in our spirit, okay? That makes the spirit perfect. But the imperfection lies within the soul is realm. You know, that's the realm that only relates to the earth, to the natural. God did not save you and for you not to enjoy the pleasure of the earth. He did not. He, he did not. You know, some, sometimes we get saved. A lot of us get saved. This is what we do. We take the soul and throw it out the window. Like, I don't need you no more soul. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Here's this wisdom. That's why you got to get this book. This book is literally rated right at, by, by the people, five star. This book will liberate you so much. Oh, my God. It'll have you so balanced until you will be saying to yourself, Lord, I've been missing out on all of this. Yes. Because you have to learn to not only balance yourself, you have to learn what you call moderation. You do things in moderation. You see what I'm saying? Because spirit is always first. I'm going to read something to you from the book that God grace me to write. He said this. Let's talk balance. You have to learn to balance between the two worlds. God created the spirit to connect and relate to spirit on a spiritual level. Mm, I like that. He created the soul to relate to humans on a natural level. Wow, I like that. So you see, we house a spirit and soul in our bodies. But this is going to bless you right here. God confirms, watch this now, our composition. In 1 Thessalonians 5 and 23, he speaks of you being spirit, soul, and body. So therefore, spirit and soul is, is, is being housed in the body. But God wants you to understand that, listen up. You, 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 you're, when he saved you, he, he didn't save you to where about life stop like, oh, I can't do this. I can't do that. Stop it. Because now you're gone. You, you've gone back to what you call religion. And religion is only duty. And God is not concerned about religion. He's concerned about relationship. He wants relationship with you. And you cannot get that balanced relationship if you don't have a balanced truth lived out in your life. And this is what's happening right now. God is balancing people all over the world to let them know you're okay. Because of the fact, watch this now. So, if, if, if you're going to say who's going to hell, who's going to heaven, but you don't have that, you, you don't have that authority to do. So, you can just kind of bump that, okay? But, like God said, see, he made spiritual and the natural, right? You got 
spiritual food, you got natural food. You got spiritual clothing, you got natural clothing. You got spiritual, you, it, 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 it's spiritual. Every, you got Wherever there's a spiritual, there's a natural. Now think about it for a little while. So therefore, whoa. So what's the natural food for the spirit? The word. What's the natural food? I mean, excuse me. What's this uh, spiritual food for the spirit? The word of the living God. Well, what's the natural food for the body? Food. <laughs> See, he gives you the natural and the spirit. But these things have to be balanced off so that you will not be called a hypocrite. Keep that in mind. You know, we're going to be going farther and farther and farther, traveling and traveling and traveling. Our next stop uh, is going to be in Miss, uh, Missouri, Kansas City, Missouri. But learn this wisdom. I'm, I'm going to show you something. Let me just stop for a moment. And I'm going to show you some of the things that the people are saying, why they think, you know, Christians are so hypocritical. Y'all, there's just so much to say until it's like, I don't even have enough time to really say all this stuff. All oh, this wisdom pouring in your life, but if you just catch this little part right here, now watch this. Now I'm gonna press it. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm gonna press it. Okay. One thing I want to ask is that why do you think that so many people think that Christians are hypocritical? Um, they're judgmental. Um, I would say they don't accept people as they are. Um, or when people come again, they say one thing and do the other. Well, like I said, they're hypocritical. So that's usually why they stray people away from the church. Oh. So yeah, that would be my wow. biggest thing. Wow. Wow, we say bye to you. No, you're good. <laughs> We're trying to, you know, trying to make sure that let people understand, you know. Yeah, that's a big coming I mean, to the world. Yeah. But this is, that's a good thing y'all doing together. Mm-hmm. Love you, John. I appreciate you. Yeah. Too. This is the route to take. Dr. Cup. I love you. Yeah. Okay, my girl. Bye-bye. Oh, let me see, can I find another clip for you all? Hold up. Let me go back and see, can I find another clip for you all? So you can see for yourself because I'm so happy. Only truth makes us happy, okay? Let me see, can I do one more for you? Okay, here we go. Let's listen to the other child. Why, why, why would you think that uh, some of the people think I was raised up in the church, you know what I'm saying? So once I got older, I started to see that a lot of Christians try to put on an act like they don't have flaws, like they don't they don't acknowledge that ain't nobody perfect, you know what I mean? They try to live from me, but they're not basically. And that's just something I could indulge in. So that just caused me to like take a step back, you know what I mean? Like, I'm a person, God is telling what it is. I don't really should be told it. I'm very honest with myself, you know. Oh my God! Did, did you all hear that? Did, did you see that? Now look, I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna take it off for a minute because I want you to understand something right quickly. Listen to this wisdom before I let you go. Even though we know these things are to be true, what the Lord is saying right now. But you got to understand as I shut it down, music, God gave us natural music. That's, that's for the natural. See, the soul is deal with the, with the natural thing, things of the earth. It's the rim, the rim of the earth, the rim of things that's natural. The pleasure of things of the earth. I, I hear what I'm saying? Why are you saying that though, Pastor Stop? Because, listen up. Think about Dolly Parton. She going to hell? Think about Evelyn's Presley, he's going to hell? Think about Johnny Cash, he's going to hell? Think about Marvin Gaye, he, he went to hell? Think about Teddy Pendergrass, he went to hell? Okay, why are you saying all this, Pastor Stott? Okay, God created and designed music, one for natural, one for the spirit. You gotta understand, sweetheart. It's so, so important that you understand you're operating in two worlds. And you have to learn to balance everything out, okay? So therefore, be careful with the words that you hear in music because I love all kinds of music. I love gospel, I love jazz, I love R&B, I love 
all different kinds of music. Oh my God, the God that I serve is a God that's so colorful and plentiful. Oh, and so beautiful until he know how to connect everything to become so unique. I'm so excited. But you know, I'll be right back at you next time I see you. You're going to get a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. Because the Lord has assigned this little girl, Bridget. He has given a wisdom, and I humbly say it. He has given a wisdom to this little girl that he haven't given to anybody else. And this wisdom is to simply to heal, deliver, and to set you free. That you don't have to wait till you go to your daughter's wedding to stop. And, and, and notice how you, you go to uh, your, the wedding and you just get up and you, you know why you, you know why you be bucking so, 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 so wild? Now you feel like that, you know, you have a purpose now that I can dance now, I can dance now. And I, no, 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 you don't have this what you go to a wedding. You know, you give your, you know, you give your children party and you're like, oh, let me just cut loose, let me cut loose. You don't have to wait for all that. There are times, and there are times that you just be at home. You're like, you know what? Let's just put some jazz on. But keep in mind before we shut it down, I always remember. Mm, spirit is first. It's spirit, soul, body. Not soul, spirit, body. Spirit always first. God, remember, he communicate. He fellowship. He don't only, he only deals with human by way of the spirit. Spiritual level, spiritual realm. The, the, the spirit was not made for you and I. The spirit was made, created, and designed to relate to God. That's why when you go to my father, you go to him, you know, with a reverence. You, you put him first. But God is so wise. He said, look, I give you beautiful trees, beautiful home, beautiful clothes, beautiful food, beautiful this. Now, that's for the soul realm. The soul was only designed, only designed, only created to relate to the things of the earth. So you can enjoy the pleasure of the earth. So you can enjoy, it's okay to be wealthy. It's okay to have beautiful home. It's okay to eat the, oh, what, 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 what food you like? Okay, it's okay. All that natural that God gave us, <laughs> God Almighty. Is to enjoy the things of the earth. And it's so beautiful. And when you have that kind of wisdom, you can live a life so joyous and so beautiful. Oh my God, you'd be so free. And when you're free, that's something that it just, words you cannot even explain. Well, I'm gonna let you go. Don't forget. Go make sure you run and get your copy. You can get it at the TBN Publishing Company Trilogy. Or you can go to Amazon. Or you just go wherever that book is at any bookstore. Go just look, if they don't have it, look, we need this in our library. Because it's healing people all over the world. So as you can see, all of these different places that we have gone, and you're seeing for yourself what people are saying. And that's what God wanted you to see. What the people are saying about it. Because by statistic it says that Christianity will decline like in 2045, even the more. No, 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 no. No, it's not. No, it's not. Not long as God has a gracious little girl named Bridget to give this type of wisdom out to you. And you're going to realize it's okay. And you're going to realize that, hey, I can live a life of balance in moderation as well. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, you will. All right, then. You know I love you, right? But you know God love you most. All right. That's going to be all for this session today. And I will see you all once again. But don't forget the focus right now is what made Christian so hypocritical. And after you get this book, it's all over, baby. And your life will never be the same. You can turn it up, DJ. I love you so, so, so much. God bless you. God bless you. And God bless you. This is Pastor Stop. Don't forget, put those stars out there. Don't forget to like. And don't forget to share. Don't forget, you go. Don't forget to go to my YouTube page, Bridges Stop Ministry. Don't forget to go there. Come see what God is doing. 
man, and you will not regret not one moment of it because God is here to deliver and set you free. I love you all. God bless you, sweetheart. Copy of what makes Christian so hypocritical today at Bridgeside.com, Amazon, Target, Walmart, or any other book retailer. Copies are also available for download.